Before we get started in the word, I just want to get a few testimonies today that we're going to have about three that they'll share with you for about five minutes. You can be seated. They'll share for about five minutes just about the impact this ministry has had in their life on the lives of others. And I just think it's good sometimes that you need to hear about the testimonies and and just remember what you're connected to because sometimes it's easy to forget. I think it was uh, last Saturday or something like that, uh, Corbin and I, we, we went after somewhere and we went to go grab a bite to eat. And we were ministering to this guy. And um, so he was just talking about all the church hurts that he had been through. He was like, you know, God used to heal, I mean, used to use him to heal people. And he used to be real strong with God. He was leading people to Christ. He was like, but I got epilepsy. And God had healed me of my epilepsy. He was like, so I'm through with God. He was like, I'm on the verge of having one more seizure and I'm going to die. So he was like, I'm through with God. I don't want to have nothing else to do with God. And then he was like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to fool with church no more. He said, but I've been looking for a church home for the last three years. So I was like, okay. And so um, we invited him to come to church. And um, Corbin went to, pick, went to pick him up that Sunday. And he sat here. And then after church, I was talking to him. He was like, man. He was like, I didn't realize how bad I missed God and how bad I needed God till I came here today. He was like, the whole time doing praise and worship, I couldn't stop crying because I hadn't heard this anointed singing like that for my whole life. He was like, uh, just to see the transparency of the musician and other pastors, he was like, man, it's some anointing over here, like some power. And then Pastor Wade was standing over there talking to people when I was talking to him. He was like, man, look at that guy. He was like, man, I admire that guy. He said, look at him. He said, most times the uh, preachers um, teach a path the word, they leave, they go. He said, but he's standing over there greeting people. He's standing over there talking to people. He said, man, I come back here any day. He said, I see, I, I really see now I need to get back close to God. He said, he said, man, I believe my deliverance is going to take place here. He said, I believe, he said, this is the place. He was like, when I came in this morning, he was like, normally I see people, they, they frown like that. He said, man, from the greeters, it's like everybody was smiling. He said, man, he, everybody asked me, hey, how you doing? This your first time visiting? He said, everybody was just treat me like a family. He was like, man, I ain't, not, he said, I ain't never experienced nothing like this a day before in my life. And I grew up in church. He was like, man. And then just the fact that um that Corbin came and picked me up when he said he was, he said, most folks would just lodge you out and not even come to get you. He was like, man, he said, um, I gotta come back here. He was like, cause is it not only does is the pastor real and transparent, he teaches. He was like, he really does teach what I can understand. He's not saying these and doubts. He said he's saying should and don't. I think that's what he said. But that's um he was like he wanna come back. He said he had to work this Sunday, but he'll be back next Sunday. Praise the Lord. Reaching the lost, bringing back the scattered. Healing the broken and strengthening the weak. Hallelujah. Thank God for young people on fire for the Lord. Her and Corbin just out there fishing and, and reaching to God's broken people. So important. Amen. When I first started here, I was selling dope. Every day I came to church every Sunday. Pastor Wade used to pour into me. And I was feeling so good about what I was doing. But I was struggling on this side and this side. Because over here when I was selling dough, I had plenty of money. And I was over here, I was like, man, I ain't got no money over here, God. So I was like me. Every Sunday, I was, I was breaking consecutive records coming to church every Sunday. Each Sunday, God was taking something from me. And I ain't had no job or nothing like that. So I, used to, I was praying and praying. My spiritual grew higher and higher. And people was looking at me like, this Jedediah, this JV, I want some of that what he get. Can I get some of that? So I was blessed with a job. And as, as I was talking to Pastor Wade about another school that I was going to, and um, I was asking him, should I quit this job to go to school to better myself? And he was telling me, pray, hear from God. And I was talking to my wife. She was like, you heard from God? I said, yeah, I heard from God too. <laughs> so uh, God led me to lead, lead the work. 
left that job, so I went to school for Memphis Light like Gas and Water, and now I'm all Memphis Light like Gas and Water. <laughs> So they look at me like, man, bro, I, I, need, I need a job. They call me now for prayer. Oh, yeah. When I come around them, man, they be smoking weed and stuff. They like, come pound, man, put the door out. <laughs> I, I was just like y'all. Y'all just come in here, Allah. He gonna take it away from me. So I just want to thank God and pass away to give me the opportunity to share this with you all.
Well, somebody got saved today. Oh, praise the Lord. They got saved. No, that doesn't happen all the time. What if that one person that needed to be saved was you? Oh, somebody just got restored back to God. Oh, man. See, it's easy to just get complacent, and I don't want us to get to that place. I want us to have an active, vibrant vision. Just like we went to Los Feliz a couple of weeks ago, and 21 people gave their life to Jesus Christ. We, we can't just let that go by and be like, well, just some people came to the Lord. No, the Bible says it's, it's, it's better for one being saved. If one being saved, it better leave the 99 and go after that one. It's better than 99 that don't even need repentance. Because the angels in heaven rejoice is over. And that's what we can't lose that. We can't lose the fervor and understand what God is doing. 